Hi, my name's Jenny Alcinius. Yes, that is my last name. No, I didn't just sneeze. Alcinius! Sorry. <clears throat> you can just call me Jenny. So I'll let you know, tell you a little bit about myself. I came from the picture-perfect quintessential American family. Two kids, one dog, my dad was a banker, my mom uh, was an amazing homemaker. It was just my sister and me and our little dog. My sister, she's four years older than me. And as my parents would tell you, they had my sister, weren't able to have any more, and then they adopted me. As I would tell it, my parents had my sister Julie, found out they couldn't have any more, so they adopted me. And then they didn't want any more. I was a pistol. I was a handful. But, you know, I truly think I come by it naturally. Well, nurture versus nature kind of thing, but naturally. Anyway, my mom, sweet as she was, she was ornery. So ornery. She would, at night, at times when my dad would have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, all is quiet. He would get up to go to the bathroom. She would steal his pillow. He would come back trying not to wake his dear wife, put his head to what he thought would be a pillow, lays down and goes, oh, Marilyn. And my dad, my dad is a very kind man. If mom punished you, it stuck. She knew how to teach a lesson. Dad, softy. If he grounded you, you're lucky it lasted 18 hours. So like I said, wonderful marriage with my parents and until that one day. Yes. Sunday afternoon, my best friend had come from home with me from church. And we were sitting there out in the family room playing. From back in the back of the house, in my parents' bedroom, we heard, Get out! I said, get out! And then I heard my mom's sweet voice go, no, I say, get out. And this went on and on for like a good 90 seconds. Felt like an eternity to this little girl. I go running back there to see what's going on with my parents, these amazing, wonderful people. And I find them laying on their bed, side by side, facing each other with the beautiful cream colored dress I had worn to church and accidentally spilt, I got lipstick on, and they were yelling at the stain. They were shouting it out. That's the kind of home I grew up in. Lots of love, lots of laughter, but that didn't keep me from being a handful and a pistol. So when I was 16 years old, I just got my license. Eight days, brand new driver. I lived out in the country, so I'm driving down a dirt road with my best friend. And we decided we were running late, so we, I kind of maybe went a little faster than I should have, okay, a lot faster. So there's a car coming and I'm starting to fishtail, as you do on ice, as you do on gravel. And so I start to panic. So I'm like, wait, 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 let up on the gas. Okay, I'm still fishtailing. So what do I do? I panic and I slam on the brake. And now I'm doing 360s. I'm driving a Plymouth Horizon. And for those of you who are too young to know what a Plymouth Horizon is, imagine a box, put four tires on it, a small front end, and you have a Plymouth Horizon. I took that little box car and went through the barbed wire fence about 25 yards into the field, but I went under the barbed wire, the top one, over the bottom barbed wire, and broke the middle one and just flew. And so what did I do as a teenager with a new license? I lied and told my parents I swore to miss a brown fuzzy animal. Well, of course, a week later, the you know, guilty conscience got to me and I told them the truth. Now flash forward about 10 years. I'm teaching 
children at church, seven, eight-year-olds. And, uh, you know, I thought I'd learned my lesson. So I was teaching these children about honesty. And uh, they love, you know, bring it home, tell them all about me. Tell them about how I made this big mistake. So then, when we went to closing exercises where all the children meet and then they um, sing a song, and someone gives a child, reads a scripture, and a child gives a little talk, one of my children realized she was supposed to give the talk and hadn't prepared. I said, it's okay, just teach him about honesty like we did in class. She, okay, she gets up at the pulpit and in front of 75 plus kids and all these adults that were their teachers goes, my teacher lies. <laughs> so, <coughs> go back to me in high school and I finally get up the courage and I ask 